Europeans in the braking department. What I mean by that, Phil, he's making the one ball in the side. That was a shocker from Gorse. That was not difficult. Now he's going to be locked up behind the seven. Good luck with this one. Could do with the sack now. This is not easy. Two rails trying to hit the one full. Extension, please. What is Fedor Gorse feeling, Phil? He's made the switch. Played for Europe once. Now he's playing for USA. The Ali Pali. The home of Team Europe. What is going through that man's brain? How is he feeling, Phil? After that, not too good. Individually, we cannot overstate how successful he's been. The last couple of years, he's won tournaments for fun. But this is a very different environment. Only singles point of the cup so far. This looks good. This looks more than good. And this is why they put him out there again first. Because this kid loves it out here in this type of arena. He is built for this. Combination coming up. 4 9 should be straightforward. Safety is there. Decided to go for the cut. It's a little bit thick. Fillers in again. And couldn't disguise his frustration there. He's not used to being second best ghost. He's one of the world's finest. Needs a good shot here. Need look at this. This is naughty pool. This really is. That little gap is found there. I think he's made an error there. Didn't need to move the eight ball. It's not something you see often in nine ball. I think it was more of an exhibition shot he tried. Can't get the cue ball quite far away off the rail. May pinch the pocket. Yes. Killer fella. Never has the name been so appropriate. Whenever there's a ball in your eye line, though, Extension, please. just feels more difficult. <laughs> Big shot for him. <laughs> Could this go any more pear shaped? For USA. Well, it could because still early days. 3 0, race to five. Has the cue ball travelled far enough? He was urging it up table. Joshua Filler does this a lot. He doesn't mind leaving himself long. A lot of players would have tried to play that firmer to make the next shot easier. He doesn't care, just give me a shot. This is a long one. Oh, 
I used the word last night, I will reiterate. Pure. Throughout the year, Fedor Gorscht is a winning machine. In this match, he's gone from hero, quite literally, to zero. The beat goes on. 4-0 for Joshua Filler. Well, Phil, it's another chance. Dry break. And he is on the one ball. There's a gap there for Ghost. But if he comes back to win this contest, Fedor Ghost, this is one contest between these two that will never be forgotten. Fair play to Ghost. Fair play indeed. This is going to give Filler something to think about. Try break. Ghost did the rest. Cue ball's going close to the corner. Filler there was waiting to exhale. Relieved. That's the beauty of having a 4-0 lead. You buy yourself a lot of racks, don't you? To get a bit of luck, get a couple more chances. That's where Ghost, he needs everything to go his way. He needs chances. Got to hit this two. Is that the Foul beginning shot. of the end of this match? What about the individual Foul record shot, of Joshua Fuller in the Moscone Cup? If he completes the task here, we'll go to 12 and 3. at the moment it's a question of would the real federal gorst please stand up because he was brought in seen as the man who was going to turn it all around give the americans much more hope of getting that win that has eluded them in recent years during this european three in a row but it hasn't gone to plan for him or his new team at all and now he's up against the world number one yes and when it rains it pours and right now it seems like it's pouring. Fran definitely needs to get out here to send a message to Gorst. He's had a suspect year. And that being said, I truly don't think it's too late. Things can change. Played that very intelligently.
this is not what Gorst was looking for in game one, and it seems to set the pace in these short races to five. So Fedor Gorst had the chance to make an early impact here, which he wasn't able to do against Filler earlier. He had the break in the opening rack, but it came up dry. He spent the rest of the rack sitting in his chair. So frustrating that he didn't get the chance of having a go at the one. Blocked by the two ball, but then again the Americans are being thwarted by a wall of glue ever since this Moscone Cup began. Yeah, you can just feel it, and he didn't want that one to cover up in front of the pocket there. Ruiz has an opportunity to jump this in and draw the cue ball. And these guys, these days, seem like this is almost like ball in hand. But let's just say Ruiz happens to miss this jump and Fedor Gorst gets a shot. The table is tough and it just seems to be the way it's gone. Yeah. Well, struck it well, as you can see. The cue ball came back to where he wanted it to. Instead of having a chance to go 2 0 in front, he's presented Gorst with a chance that really you feel if they're to start turning around this momentum he's got to take into this with a lot of inside English he's decided to play the decent defensive play and he's done great like to have moved the seven out just a little bit more but Ruiz has got work to do here Jeremy Jones has certainly got work to do as well means so much to him three defeats in a row he would desperately love to captain a winning Moscone Cup team just once and he's put so much passion so much energy into it over the last few months since he was confirmed as captain again inside he must be starting to feel a little devastated and his dream is unraveling here he realized if he could bump the seven for Gorst, so he's still got work to do. What a camera angle that was. How close to a good hit was that? Come to the short side. I believe the seven plays in the lower right. And he's got a nice bump. If it didn't play in the lower right, it does now, but there is a real good safe available. Does he go for it or lock him up to the eight? He's going to try and lock him up again. Sometimes you feel like you've got to force the issue a bit, Scott, to try to make things happen. But in this instance, the way Gorst is approaching this rack just underlines they can't afford to do that. He's just got to get the racks on the board. Yes, that's interesting you say that. The captain, the great Jeremy Jones, and I were speaking just a little bit ago, and you're exactly right. You have to force it. You have to make something happen, and I'm a little surprised Gorse didn't glue him closer to that eight, and this is why. He's gotten fortunate, Gorse. There's a scratch. This is an opportunity. That's why he's still at the table, shooting at the three. Saw a little flinch there in the stroke, a little snatchy. He's overrun the cue ball. By some distance as well. So should still be okay here, but amid the pressure cooker of the Moscone Cup, you don't want to be adding any extra little bits of tension. That's what he's done here. This is a big shot for Ruiz. He's missed it, Michael. This is the opportunity that Gorse needed. The fans know it as well. Well, it looked as though he'd solved the hardest part of the puzzle that was presented to him in this rack. Once he had played that carom and things had fallen nicely for him, he was on the three. 
didn't look like there was a huge amount left to do, but my, he overran position on the four by such a long way. Clock. Joshua Filler loves the camera. Watch out. It has to clear the nine. Watch out. It's going to glue. We got problems. We have problems. You know, in a race to five, alternate breaker can slip away from you so easily. If Sanchez Ruiz loses this rack, Gorsh is 3 1 up. He's then got the break in the next rack. So he's opened the door here again. Forced a big opportunity. USA never more than a rack in front in any match so far in this Moscone Cup. What a fine job his team are doing. FSR, under a bit of pressure here. What can Gorst come up with? Yeah, he's opened the door, but not too much. Go twice. Can it go twice? Yeah, opened the door really in the sense of even just letting him back to the table, which wasn't expected, but I don't think he's going to be returning to the table again now in this rack. Jeremy Jones looks so distraught at what's going on here at Alexandra Palace over this first night and a half. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz then looked as though he passed up the chance to level, but he got a reprieve. Can he get down? Oh, he's played the eight in the corner. What a hit this is. The crowd will love it. That is the definition of a shot that has been played to absolute perfection. And so with a routine nine, Federal Gorge manages to hit the front for the second time in this match. Our current score is tied at three games apiece. The coolest Team man USA in North London tonight. Great. He needs two more racks to get that first point. Oh my goodness, the one is down, but so is the cue ball. And the 2-9, is it available? I would sure think not. The cue ball kissed straight into the corner, and you have to wonder what do you shot have to please? do. The seven as cover needs a rub for Gorst, and he's gotten it. This is actually a very big change here. I don't know what Gorst can do offensively. It's such a steep cut. He's got to get back down for the six, and the cue ball is on the rail. Does he attempt the same shot? Well, he can just bank it right in, get off the rail. And just look at the cool, assured manner in which he did that. And he's already eyeing up his next shot. He expected to make that. He's going to look at the six. I think this is an advantage to playing last match. He's gotten comfortable. I don't know of much that he's done wrong this set. Well struck, he had to use inside English. Used all of the pocket. No crowd there. What a bank by Gorst. On the five. Watch the side pocket, we need a wall here, we got it. Hint of an apology. He's just enjoying the moment. Prior to this, only once in the whole Moscone Cup had the American side been even a rack ahead in a match. It's now happened for the third time in this contest. And Federal Gorst is first to the hill here against the world champion. Of this ball. Or does he have a better opportunity at kicking one rail at it? Possibly. Fluking the seven off of the nine, you, making please. the seven straight in in the lower left. He's going to take his time. And I can't blame him. With his partner, David Alcady, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz ran out from both of his breaking racks in the doubles last night. He's had four of them tonight. 
hasn't run out from any of them. That looked like a good chance. Boy, this is a big, big shot here. I don't know where this ball will finish if he makes a good hit. He needs this cue ball to travel. I don't know that it got there, Michael. And it didn't by a fraction. Just seems to be how the story has gone. Has he fallen straight here? If he has, he doesn't have a lot of room for position on the nine. Flinchy, snatchy. Absolutely, it was so apparent. And this isn't given yet. Well, this is not easy. And you gotta wonder, is it going through his mind, could I be the first one to lose a point to Team USA? There's one false move away from doing that. But throughout this contest, it's always had the feel of one that was going to go the full distance. Oh, he's hit it real thin. It needs to fall. It's fallen. Is this the role that USA needs? Attention, please. Could be the first point for Team USA. And what better man to deliver that blow? Yeah, and then the Americans will hope to carry that momentum into the next match, which he's also going to be involved in with Shane Van Boney against Sanchez Ruiz. And the man who beat Gorst earlier this evening in the singles, Joshua Filler. But this isn't ideal, Scott. He's come up short, Michael. He's come up real short. This is a natural shot. He plays this shot every day at home. But this isn't some weekend tournament at your local pub. Can he get it down? He's missed it. This is absolutely devastating for USA. And just as a win for Gorst here could have changed the momentum and given them a springboard, a platform, something to build on. So the Americans are going to be so deflated if this chance is passed up. Because if Francisco Sanchez Ruiz can pop these last three balls, Europe relatively early on the second night will already be more than halfway to winning their fourth straight Moscone Cup. And this was a point so dearly needed. Yeah. And you know that Ruiz will take advantage. Gorse came up a little bit short on the seven. Hit it a fraction thick. Seemed like he played it awful quickly. I'm sure that adrenaline was up, but it's going to be a devastating blow. Federal Gorse led 2-1. He led 3-2. He was first to the hill at 4-3, and he had a chance to win the match by five racks to four. But he fell three balls short. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz has won it in a Hill Hill finish. It's another win for him. The third he's been part of already in this Moscone. And it's a sixth win for Europe. They've got half a dozen points on the board. USA have yet to register the doubles to follow. 15 seconds. Thank you. 
the extension, please. Calls his extension. Just talking to SVB, and he did mention to me, he said he wished this was a 60-second shot clock. Well, those aren't the rules, but he's hit this well. And that's about right, Phil. He snookered on the pink four. And what a shot by SVB. He can see part of the ball, but he can't make it. kick at that to make something happen. Maybe play the nine in the lower left. He tried to send the pink four up table and just leave distance and use cover. Yeah, an awkward queuing. Can we start the shot? Just stop the shot clock, please, and reset on 30 seconds. Just give us one second, please. wasn't wanted for sound. This is right up Filler's alley. As you see, he just doesn't look like he's ever going to miss. I was talking about. Yeah, Phil, and I believe he's actually dropped worse than that. SBB might be stroking this ball two rails, and that's what he's done. Is it going to fall short? And you called it, Phil. It seems like everybody's just waiting for the mistake to come. And here it is. He was afraid of overhitting that. Note the path the cue ball was taking towards the lower left corner. Oh, this is really well done. But it does give Europe that second opportunity that they didn't deserve or need. 20 seconds. Classic kicking stick. What will it yield? Resemblance of the great Ronnie O'Sullivan in a snooker shot. In snooker, someone like Mark Selby would have been more able to play that. It really was extraordinary, and he knew as the balls were rolling where it was going to finish. Okay. And you hear SBB say, let's go, let's go. He needed that energy yesterday. I think Captain Jeremy Jones had a talk with him, and you can see a difference in SBB today. Extension. Is it too little, too late? Let's hope not. shot top right corner better made a tougher shot than this last match on the eight you don't have to do much with the cue ball here really put your focus on putting this down
ball in off the far knuckle. The USA about to equalise. Big shot here for Gorst. He's got to get this down. Not in doubt. So badly needed. FSR's got a pretty good record against Filler over the years. Okay, thank you. you definitely mate. see the respect is there between both players. Not again. It just continues to happen. They'll miss a ball, get safe. They'll kick a ball, they'll get safe. Doubles or singles contest. The law of averages are going to kick in sooner or later in USA. Like a bad to have some success, down surely. Table. You would think. Phil, you down would here. think. I like what they're talking about. I like that they're talking. Pick up you. I'll shoot. I'll shoot. Extension. The extension, please. And I like that decision. Whether he makes this ball or not, he says, I'll shoot. I'll shoot. Yes. It's time to shoot. Absolutely wow, Phil. What a stroke on that ball. And this is what needs to happen. They need to stay aggressive. This needs to settle. Well, he's overhit this ball. He's overhit this ball. Hasn't slowed course down. Maybe he wants to bank this. Cross side. Middle left. Carries position. It's going to be short. And that is an error. And I would put that error on SBB. He's overhit. Come on. The blue two. Of the five players on Team Europe, he's the one filler you'd want taking on this shot. He never lets you down. He's totting prowess. He's off the charts. And just when USA had a real opportunity to go up four games to two. Something happens. He's overhit this again and caught the six. I don't know if he was trying to go into the six heavy and move it. But he was straight in there, Phil. I thought he could just roll the ball past the purple five. Had to be playing into the six. There's no way he's going to misjudge it by that much. And the wheels might be falling off again. Deceleration there by Gorst. Meant to clear the six. SVB meant to go into the six. Sorry. Although there is one certainty. Death taxes and filler potting balls. Take your time.
positional misjudgment from SVB. Filler to break. Cue ball. Final stroke. It's ball to him. Trouble. Possibly on the pink and four. Start, 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 start. It's not easy. Three to the four ball. I don't want to count the chickens before they are hatched here. Needs to hit this with a little pace, and he's elevated over the nine. Oh, he's got an unbelievable rub. I cannot understand the decision of not going forward versus drawing that ball. I felt like it laid natural to go Step. one, two yeah, to the left easy. side of the seven. He felt like elevating was the right play. This is touchy. So touchy. What a hit that was. Clean of the double hit. Crashing. Into the eight. SVB wanted the extension and it's gone. Just knock this down. No extension on the eight, but this nine will extend the match its full distance. Finally, Phil, USA gets a good rub on the seven, and it's going to go Hill Hill. You told me during a break. Could this be USA's time? Most certainly should be in normal circumstances. Put this one in the books, but the Moscone Cup is never normal. No, it was just last match with four balls on the table, and Gorse didn't get out. But this looks good. It looks real good. And it's time. I think it's time. Automatic position. Just get this ball down. I don't believe it, Phil, but I think it's going to happen. And a massive point for USA. The wait is over. Yes, Eureka. 6-2. Doesn't look good. It looks a hell of a lot better than 6-0. It's the prize on offer. If Steyer can deliver here. Cue ball's going to go close because of the spin. That's what's happened. What an opportunity for... Alvin Ocean here, the very first rack with ball in hand, one shot, put the cue ball anywhere on the table. And we play singles in pretty much every tournament other than the World Cup of Pool, which is the Scotch doubles event. And when you're playing these singles matches and you're playing a race to nine and you're six one down, it is not easy, your back's against the wall. So imagine how USA feel here. Positional shot, what made life hard work there. These are not easy, you're playing into a blind pocket.
funny how the ball can come off a couple of rails, hit another one in the middle of the table and leave yourself awkward queuing. Good news is he's got the angle so he can put everything into the pot. Yeah, it's finished awkward, but could have been a lot more awkward. So I think it'll be okay here. Great Moscone Cup record and a big occasion player, still the only player ever to have reached the World Nine Ball final four times. Winning two, losing two. <laughs> almost lost his battle with the pink four there. It's a smile that says, yeah, okay, I got away with one. This year, they were one rack away from getting to the final again. Well, he's been having a look, hasn't he? Well, that tells you it's tight anyway, so... Can't see him taking this one on. Yeah, it's a safety shot. Prides himself in this department of the game. for all the American players in these last couple of nights. Coming to the table, behind in the match, obviously behind in the overall Moscone. And just frustratingly, under more pressure, having to find your way out of tough situations over and over again, rather than having an opportunity to have a real impact and start turning this round. Just trying to make something happen with the short stick. It's just not going Steyer's way. It's not going USA's way either. Very deliberate cue action. Very smooth on the delivery. Pulls it back quite slow as well. Previous match, something of an epic, really. This one feels like it's barely started, but it could soon be over. More ruthless efficiency from the two time world nine ball champion, and Alban Ocean is very swiftly to the hill. Went five racks in a row against an inform Alban Ocean, but he does have the break in rack five. But look at the cue ball. He did lose the cue ball on the break, Michael. He didn't pop the one in the side. Cue ball got flicked off the one I know, but the cue ball should be going nowhere near the middle. Well, we've only been playing for around half an hour and this has got to be, if it finishes here, one of the shortest matches we've ever seen in the Moscone Cup. Extension code. Yeah, and this has almost got the feeling of, of a victory lap. Everything's gone Albin's way, but he's played a good set, hasn't he? He's took his chances, he's played some nice safeties. Well, we 
know the Moscone Cup is modelled on the Ryder Cup, which has been around for about 100 years now, and you talk about famous recoveries in that, none more so than 2012, when Europe pulled off the miracle at Medina. For the Americans, from this position, it's going to have to be a Lazarus act in London, because Europe are going to equal the biggest ever margin between the sides at the end of day two in a Moscone Cup, three times before. There have been six points between the sides at this point in proceedings. Each time, it's been Europe enjoying that advantage, and it's going to be the same again. It's another wonderful night for the Europeans, for their new captain. He has absolutely charged through this match. He's beaten Tyler Steyer by five racks to nil. It's a record equaling day two overnight margin for Europe. <laughs>